a couple of days ago, my son was, uh, would I say kidnapped by the uh, police people that are in Bori, in Kana, local government in Thai. These people saw my son with a new phone, a wristwatch. I bought that phone. I also bought the wristwatch. I take care of my son. He's in school. I am not that father who is going to abandon his son. I take care of my son. I give him what he needs, not what he wants. Uh, these policemen saw my son and took him, dragged him around with guns, threw him in their van, threatened to kill him. Out of fear, my son tried to call me. He couldn't get me because uh, my phone was on airplane mode because of what I was doing. I was at my unit doing soldier thing. They dragged my son around in, in, in fear took my son to where he withdrew all the money he had in his account. What else is stealing? What else is financial crime? What else is, 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 is what pursuing? There might be police officers, but I think the EFCC needs to look at the police first. Some of us are overseas killing ourselves, doing the right thing, representing Nigeria well. We could have been doing something crazy. I, I People doing the, the Yahoo Yahoo 419, they don't have two heads. They're Nigerians like us. But we chose to do the right thing. We chose to be on the right path. Then the Nigerian police, who are the biggest criminals in uniform and in guns, would go about victimizing innocent Nigerians, the ones that are doing right. If they see you with a phone, you're a Yahoo boy. If you carry a laptop, you're a criminal. The trauma these people put my son through. I am filing a lawsuit against that police, the, the whatever unit or tax force that did that to my son. I spoke with my son this morning and he's even scared of going back to school. That is how bad this whole thing was. My son is 23. I am thinking that whatever these policemen do is known to the good police officers. And because the good police officers tend to stay quiet,